So, last week, you guys, continuing on your adventure to find what happened to your initial employer, Gurdon Rockseeker, uh, you finally resolved uh, the uh, unfortunate situation of Fandoline uh, that you guys got pulled in. Uh, you spent a lot of your time looting uh, the whole manor, finding quite a few things, including a goblins that you uh, took with oh, you guys. Oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did I ever do that? And um, you then took uh, your loot back in town, sold uh, bits of it, um, gathered the, the, the rewards that were promised to you guys, uh, gathering a res respect a respectable amount of uh, gold pieces uh, with all the loot and the rewards. Um, you then help uh, the passing of uh, Myrna Osband and finally made your way to the inn for a, a well-deserved night rest after this crazy day and uh, Am I you, alive? You got a <laughs> You got a, a quick meal a couple of beers and everyone added it uh, added to bed and uh, instantly fell asleep too tired to even stand watch. As um, um, the so at at this point, the the sun is rising. It's morning. Everyone is uh, coming to consciousness. Also, oh, uh, I slept. Yes, you did. Oh, nice. <laughs> so you just wanted to tease me all this time. <laughs> Of course. I it. If there's always something, then you're gonna not know if I'm teasing or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys all come to consciousness. Um, what would you guys want to do? Um, uh, as I gain consciousness, uh, I'm gonna start. Wait, where is it? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna perform a ritual for, for about an hour, and I'm. What I'm doing is actually I have my warhammer, and I'm basically I'm forging a bond between a warhammer and myself. So I have a weapon bond now. That's it for an hour. It takes you an hour. It takes me an hour to do that. What does the bound you, do? You're in I don't remember. You just caress your hammer. Oh, yeah. You're, yes. You're a good boy. You and I, me are going to be friends. I'm caressing my hammer for an hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't you have the sword? So mm -hmm. I, I did some reading. I Just as a side note, I did some reading. And uh, you don't have to attune to an object to identify it. You can uh, spend a short rest with the weapon, studying it and understand its properties. Um, attunement oh. is something different. Who had the, okay. uh, the sword? You. I think I have it. No, I think it's uh, Fern. I have it? Fern? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Fern took it. I'm pretty... Mm. Mm, I oh, think it was uh, Sema. Oh, yeah. And Sema? he didn't I'm want to attune sure to it because he realized I yeah, remember you, thinking okay. that's a big sword. Can I like, draw, like how like I was imagining the sword is as tall as me, and it was funny. And anyway, Thank I remember Howard. that. So. Okay. So no, I don't have it. Uh, it just does that. Uh, I cannot be disarmed. Mm. Great. Cool. Good to know. Yep. So while uh, Fern is uh, not getting out of his room for some reason for an hour, what are you guys doing? Uh, identifying the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, you, you stay in your room also for an hour, 
uh, taking a short rest and studying the weapon. A short yep. rest right after a long rest. <laughs> oui. Well, I mean, yeah. Talon. All right. Uh, <laughs> That's so the name of the sword. It is. It's a talon. Yeah. You already have the um, the uh, end out, right? Uh, we have the I picture, only yeah. Talon. Yeah, that's the end of. Yeah, and you send it? you send the picture as well. On roll twenty. Big sword. You should have it. Um, so that. In, in, in your where? Handout. Handout. Where is that handout thing? It's on roll twenty. It is a photo. Oh, it's on roll twenty. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, it's the picture. Yep. Yeah. But I want the stats. Well, so you spend um, uh, your short rest studying it, and uh, it is in fact a plus one short sword. Plus one, ah, plus one short sword. I uh, know long sword. Sorry, it's a plus one long plus sword. One long sword. Who has a long sword in that group? Nobody has long swords. Nobody. Okay, okay, so I. Um, but what does we'll... it do that it's a plus one? It's plus, plus one to one attack damage. and uh, damage. Attack yeah. rolls and damage. Hmm. It's, a, it's a good bonus. Uh, plus one is always good. Um, so I, I'll. I'll Set it aside and I guess take copper. So while you were just spending an hour, copper um, was like conscious at this time. You you didn't notice like his tie, um, kind of as some bite marks and it's red around uh, the the wrist. So. You see that he, he might have tried to struggle, but uh, the bounds uh, hold. And um, yeah, he's just, uh, he peed on the floor and he's looking at you, he's making noise while you're trying to um, concentrate or, on your sword. And he's not helping, but uh, he's still there. He's making mess. I'm looking at him. Um, uh, yeah, I, I basically grabbed him like a leash, and uh, grabbed a rope like a leash, and. Uh, it's hungry. I I untie his hands and feet and just let him, like by his waists, like attached by his like a harness kind of thing. And uh, with the leash and... You put it on the backpack again? I'm going just... to give you lots of bacon. Sorry, what? You're putting him uh, as a backpack again or just... No, no, no. He's, he's free to roam, but I uh, got a leash. Okay. Now, go cover one vision. Yeah, I'll, I'll lead you to your new home with some bacon. And uh, you're going to stay there for a while while we sell things and go on a road trip. Want to go to a road trip? Going north. That's it. Um, so first thing, I get on my room, like taking him with the leash and uh, just going to that Town, town hall where there's cells. Going straight, just straight the, to that town hall. No, no stuff for food. No, no, no stuff for just. I grab some bacon. Where? And I, I, uh, I don't know. Uh, I asked for some bacon at the counter. Well, you guys, you guys there's have some been... bacon here. So, oops, the stream, the stream has ended. Yeah, it's, it's you fine. guys have spent boat an hour so Cade and Terma what are you guys doing are you downstairs already having break breakfast or what are you guys doing 
And for me, I'm going to take breakfast, and after that, I'm going to buy. Uh, I'm going to the how are you called? Uh, where they sell uh, armors. Um, mm. I think it's in. Uh, it's the lion um, shield. No it's the lion... lion shield that has some some armor. A lion shield. So I'm going to buy a light armor for me there. Okay. And that's it. So you spend your hour taking a, a quick breakfast and going to the lion shield. Yeah. Um, all right. So you make your way to the lion shield, um, and you have. Hmm, it's Lionin, Lionin, that greets Lainine. you. Hey, welcome back. Hi. I have some well, How may I help you today? Uh, I need a light armor. Nora, oh. what Leather. do you have right now? Hmm, light armor. I can go back in uh, my back store and see what I have. I see. Hmm. And she comes back uh, from uh, from the the back room. She's holding. She has a leather armor and a studded leather armor. She presents uh, you with both. That's what I I found. Um, it's not pristine condition, but it should work. The leather armor is fine. How much for that? Oh, um, this one could, uh, should cost you about uh, 10 gold. 10 gold? Okay. Take it. All right. Take that. You can mark that down. You just purchased uh, leather armor, which okay. is an hey. easy... What? I I'm just yeah. happy that she has armor now. <laughs> Uh, so it's 11 to your AC plus your dex modifier. Okay. And then go. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, anything else I can help you with? Oh, yes. I have two daggers. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you can give me some for this. Oh, you, you want to sell your daggers to me? Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah. I mean, I can help you guys. Um. The dagger. I would give you about four gold for it. Four gold. Okay. Great. Thank so, you. I'm going to sell the There's some dagger. There's some rumors going around. You guys made quite a ruckus in the matter. Well, we killed some guys, some bad guys, and... Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I'm not, uh, I'm, uh, I'm all on your side, like, it's a service for the whole town, uh, it's just, it, it's starting to spread, and you guys are, I wouldn't say heroes, but you did us a, a big, big service, and I thank oh. you for that. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, I have a question. There is another rumors like you, uh, I don't know, maybe you listen about some guy, the leader of these uh, red hats, maybe someone see the guy, you are, you're listening something about that? I didn't hear anything. Uh, I can keep an ear open for it, but right now only some rumors that like the Red Bands is pretty much destroyed and the town, the town is free from those ruffians. There's still yeah. gonna be some cleaning to do, but um, yeah. So, nothing. Uh, hello. Oh, no. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> 
So, okay, well, it's a pleasure for us. Well, we just did the thing we have to do, just uh, protect the people and, yeah, protect the people. And uh, that's it. <laughs> but if you know something about this uh, guy, Last stuff. Last stuff. Last stuff. Doesn't so. even ring a bell. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep a, uh, I'll, I'll keep an uh, ear out, and if I hear anything, I'll, I'll try to reach you guys and let you know. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. And I go. Bye then. Bye. -bye. All right. Cade, yeah. are you doing anything? Or are you just... I guess I'm just wandering around, wondering <laughs> where is everyone and getting breakfast. So you're sitting down and eating breakfast? Yeah. So as you're sitting down, uh, you just see Semat, like, uh, go downstairs, uh, carry, like, Pulling a goblin in his back, like take a, a, a handful of your bacon and just get out. Why mine? <laughs> so, Samat, so you're um, you're uh, going to the town master. Oh, well, I'm going to grab some bacon from the counter. Oh, okay. I want some big chunks of bacon steak. Bacon steak. And yeah, Toblin is uh yeah, um I, I have I have bacon on hand. I, I can uh get you some. Just uh, wait two seconds and he goes back it in the kitchen. It doesn't have to be cooked. Uh, <laughs> do you have a preference? I have both. Uncooked. All Which right. one is faster? Uh, any. Like I I have cooked and uncooked, it's ready. Like for customers uncooked. and all right. Uh, he goes, bring you uh, um, like uh, paper wrapped bacon, uncooked. Uh, it's just a chunk; it's not even sliced. Gives you, <laughs> gives it to you. Here, um, I hope uh, you like it. And like I as think, you make your way out, I you know, the, the, the you notice the, the, the goblin. magical sword. Yes, I take Talon the magical sword. And I start chopping the bacon, <laughs> just in like small chunks. Great use of a magical weapon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plus one, so it, it is work well. It is very sharp, and you're able to make like very thin uh, slice of bacon without any like effort. That's a good sword. Um. <laughs> Is, 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 uh... is looking at it like big eyes ah, drooling ah, I put a chunk in him and uh bacon. And you were you were saying something uh I oh, see sees the goblin yeah well I, as you're gonna as you leave like uh because he was kind of uh, surprised yeah. by your request of uh a chunk of raw bacon but he, he sees the goblin he, he seems startled but doesn't like mention it. Don't worry, uh, he only stayed one night. You have room service, right? Uh, like cleaning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we'll uh, send someone to. Uh, if something happen. Um, that that Let's we need. Let's just say there's be... a big tip coming. Okay, great. I uh, that sounds awesome, and not okay. at the same time. Don't comment. I'm a customer, remember? Yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry. I'm just trying to be uh, uh, funny. I guess. No problem. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be back. Uh, every oh. every now and then, I just throw a little bacon at the goblin so he stays like focused on that bacon and, and docile. Yes. Focus he is, like every chunk. <laughs> 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 Completely <laughs> eats the whole thing and like is just like uh, tugging on your pants and just waiting for the next uh, next bite. 
All right. So you make your way to the town master hall. Oh yeah. And uh, you 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 enter. Uh, it's unlocked. Um, uh, and um, you have um, what's his name? Harbin Wester as it at his desk. He looks at you again. Hey, welcome back. Uh, Harbin Wester, Har what? Harbin Wester. It's the uh, town master. Uh, the what's his title? Town master. Town master. Yeah, town master. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, you, uh, you are average Western. Yeah. Now you, right? All right. I got, got, I got a, uh, uh, I saw you guys. Locataire. What's locataire in English? Um, uh, tenant. I got a tenant and you tenant for yourselves. I need you to keep him there until we come back for him. You can't do that for us. He's a big guy, so he's just like standing over his desk, looking at what you mean by a tenant. Oh, that thing's filthy. You want me to get that in my cell? Well, he should smell like bacon now. And yeah, basically, yeah. Because, uh, you know, wanna wanna be uh, allies. He, he, our group and not on you, right? Yeah, that's unusual yeah. request. You know what's unusual? A town master that takes bribe to uh, uh, tyrannize his own village. I'm not saying anything, it's just unusual. It would be effectively unusual. Yeah, so you know. Unusual things happen. They just happen, right? Doesn't change anything. Right. Yeah. So you're gonna take him? Put him in there. Alright. Come here, uh, Copper. His name's Copper. He likes bacon and coppers. Obviously. Yes, Copper. So, um, I give a copper to copper uh, and the rest of the bacon. Uh, I throw it, in, I did throw the rest of the bacon in the cell. And, uh, untie copper in the cell and I close the cell and, uh, lock the cell and everything. If I can, can I do that? Bro. Yeah, you can easily, um, take the keys from, uh, Wes, uh, I never remember his name. Harbin. Harbin. Western and Barben. Exactly, and lock lock up the cell. Um, All right. As you hey, may... sorry, go ahead. No, go for it. Hey, copper, I'm gonna get you back. So this is your new home. All right, still better than your old home. You're gonna be secure here, because there's might be a bunch of people here that wanna kill you. Remember, you could eat their child, right? Like. Eating kids, right? Yes. All right, so they know that, so they want to kill you because of that. I want to protect you, so you're gonna stay here. I'm gonna deliver some bacon every day to you, and until we go back on the road. Is that good? Lord, you, you. We, we can't really hear you a lot. Really? When you talk, yeah. Seems like when you make the voice. It's only when you make the voice. Mm -hmm. Shit, it's a good voice. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I get what you mean. Well, when you make your goblin voice, yeah. we lose you. Like, we can't hear you. Entirely? Well, I don't understand shit it, of what you're, what you're it, saying. It kind of gets uh, mumbling. Okay. Um, okay. I I don't know what to do. <laughs> I bought a new mic just for that. Oh no. 
And yes, oh, all, so you all bought time. it? Nice. I, uh, it's a different one, but... Um, it shows, though. It does, except for the voice of Copper. Yeah, I don't know if you have a noise gate oh. or gain. Maybe uh, get the near to your mic a bit more. Copper. That works well. Uh, if you can turn up the gain, that would be perfect. I have no clue. Bit... Can you... I'll, I'll, I'll you look into little, it. Uh, but... Something like this to turn the gain? No. <laughs> I don't like I don't have any amplifier or anything like it's just the mic and there's no setting on the, okay, no good. settings on it I'll just try to right. make it yeah, yeah. Uh, to put get it closer, closer to your mic like this closer wait that's good all right copper is going north you you don't leave copper here copper is oh, going I'm north gonna... right hey listen this is just a temporary thing because uh, at the end, you know, uh, they don't like you. They don't like you here. Only we like you. Us, uh, you know. You like Copper. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a gift here. Uh. <laughs> don't. Pre I, I'm doing press digitation and I'm, I'm making a little. The little images on the wall just to distract him. I don't know, like a TV something. <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> See if you can distract them. Now have your dice oh, ready. No, it's just for it's it's for his entertainment. Well, you, you can make a performance check then. Okay. See if it's actually okay. entertaining for him. Well, can I make? Okay, wait. So deception, you said. Yeah, you're just trying to distract him. So I say deception is close enough. Eleven. Yeah, he looks at it. Um, he's kind of curious for a couple of minutes. All right, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, Copper. With Maybe bacon. Before. With bacon. Right? With with bacon. Copper, group likes bacon. You'd be good, all right. Yeah. And I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm hungry and thirsty. All right, uh, Harbins gives you a look while you pass by, not looking at him. I give him a look back. Yeah. See you soon. Real soon. Yeah, we might be back during the day or tomorrow. That's great. All right, so you I'm make your way back to the end. Okay. At this point, uh, when you come back, Fern, you you're done with your. Um... I'm done rubbing my uh, warhammer. Yeah. And, Are you uh, joining Cade? Yeah, or... I, I'm coming down to have breakfast. All right. So everyone gathers back in uh, at the inn. Uh, Toblin, Tobl uh, Toblin, come uh, take your order uh, for whoever just arrived. Um, what do you guys want to have? Breakfast. Any, any, any specifics or? Cheese, bread, steak, breakfast, and, um, bacon, beer. Good choices. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take all that and bring that back as soon as possible. Oh and yeah, I want eggs well. as well. Of course. Yeah, I, I would have come in anyway. <laughs> and he makes his way back. Uh, the food is brought to you guys uh, soon after. And it, it's good. Like, um, it's a lot of uh, cheese, good bread, fresh, uh, some fruits, eggs, bacon, steak. It's a copious uh, meal. You see that Toblin is... Uh, 
trying to make you happy. Nice. So um, we kind of have to think, what do we do next? Go to the north. No. The yeah, golden sure. I remember that. I remember yesterday the golden say all the time, go to the north, go to the north. So maybe there is the the thing where the goblins hide. I think. For for what we know up north, there is the Kragma hideout. Uh, the fortress, my bad. It's not the hideout. It's the fortress. And okay. everything points towards that black staff. Black staff? Glass staff? That's, that's where he's heading. Black staff is a forgotten realm lore. <laughs> so, uh, I, I asked here in the... In the... Minecraft. The lion high crest. The lion, lion crest. crest. Okay, there. <laughs> lion crest. Lion Thank crest. you. Uh, Nobody is seeing the guy here in town. So, he, if he is not here, maybe is there in the fortress. That's for sure. So. Um, yeah, the as for this time, I think they're good for now. I'd like to uh, maybe uh, get by the shrine of the lucky lady before we get to uh, move on. When you think we should uh, hit the road? Well, um, in the next couple of days, honestly, because I don't know how far north we're supposed to go and. We cannot go on foot. We don't have any mean of transportation. We have to find somehow a cart or horses or... We have to find something to travel. First and foremost. I think we might have some chance with uh, Bartons. And I also have like a couple pelts. I want to see if I can sell, sell them the pelts. Beaver pelts. Um, Samat, did you have any uh, development on the sword and oh yeah, on the scroll? Oh yeah, we had a scroll. Did you see yeah. if uh, there was oh, something? I with haven't it? looked at the scroll. No, I have. Hmm. I was focused on um, the sword basically. Now, who uses a sword here? So I'm putting it on the table. Uh, that sword. Uh, it, it cuts mighty well, and you have better chances uh, to pierce armor with it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't use swords, so uh, a long, anybody who can use a long sword should be able to uh, use it. You know, because it's I a long believe. sword. I'm gonna say this, but it, it's a bit long for me. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Hey, look at his face. He said he saw it coming. Uh, he said, That's what oh. she said. <laughs> um, well, for me, it's easier <laughs> to have two swords. Yeah, of course. It ain't too long for you. So, uh, take it. Me? Well, don't, can't you have, uh, long swords with, with one hand? Yeah, uh, long sword, I, I need to have, uh, my two hands in there. But, okay, oh. I, I'm gonna take it. True? No yeah. long swords, as I remember. You can have it in one hand. They're long versatile. Are yeah. Versatile, yeah. yeah. So, the, you can have it in one and two hands. Two hands is 1d8, one hand is 1d6. 1d10. Okay, so. No, 1d8 for one it. hand, 1d10 for two hands. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can have a long sword and a short sword? Yep. Okay, I take it. <laughs> oh. 
I always think that the lone sword you have to need the the two hands for that. Now that you got armor, you can uh, get into close combat a bit better. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so... I'm I'm gonna take the next hour to identify the scroll. While we're having Confirm. breakfast, basically. Yep. So you spend your breakfast uh, spilling a bit of fat on it, looking at it very carefully, trying to decipher what's uh, actually doing. And after an hour of uh, um, studying it, you get the idea of it being a scroll of, if I remember correctly, Overpower! I don't even know how it's pronounced. Uh, Oguri. Oguri? 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 I don't even know what that spell does. It's uh, A U G E R Y? A U G U R Y. That's a spell, right? It should be. It's a scroll. Oh, a spell, I think. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know what it does. I didn't even look. In the scroll, there is a spell. It's a... A scroll is... Um, a spell that you can use without having it prepared. <clears throat> it's a second like, level divination still... ritual... I don't even... I'm not sure exactly how it works. I think you need to be able to cast it. But then you don't have to have it prepared. I don't remember exactly how scrolls work. Uh, but we can read a bit on it. Uh, after. <laughs> Something like you need to have a, a, a spell slot of that level. But you don't need to have the spell to cast it. Something yeah, it's like to that. avoid um, having cast, it prepared. Like noobs and... casting over or overkill spell, <laughs> yeah. like time stop. <laughs> so it doesn't use I your win spell the stuff. <laughs> what? You win like a level one casting spell uh, time stop. <laughs> he won the ND. It's a level one for real. Or? It requires components, though. Oh, okay, I get what you mean. It still requires the component? So Good what's question. Augury? Is that, is Augury, it's a second level divination. Casting time, it's a minute. It requires specially marked sticks, bone, or similar token worth at least 25 gold pieces. Duration in... Usually, usually, usually. By casting a gem inlaid sticks, rolling dragon bones, laying out ornate cards, or employing some other divining tools, you receive an omen from an otherworldly entity about the result of a specific course of action that you plan to take within the next 30 minutes. Okay, the DM choose from the following possible omen. Okay, so basically it's like uh, if we let, uh, uh, like we plan on letting uh, copper loose in the town, okay, in the next 30 minutes. And then we, we roll, we cast that spell, we roll some dice or whatever, like tarot cards, bones, whatever. And then it reads uh, something that you tell us what it is. Yeah. So if you, you as a DM, like, hey, if they release the goblin no. in the town, something bad will happen. It's, or maybe uh, yeah. if they release the goblin in the town, something good will happen. And then that bones tell us that. It's a wheel, a woe, a wheel and a woe or nothing. Yeah. So it's, the, so the, it's either, either a wheel good, is good, bad, bad, good yeah. and bad or nothing. So it's basically, the, it's like a getting a forecast of the event in the next 30 minutes. Ah, okay. 
Scroll of <laughs> events thinking. <laughs> no, I mean, you guys aren't using it. I'm just, uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, unless you want to use it, then I'll have to figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of thing, like, uh, uh, <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah. And I remember in the critical role, every time they use that, they're like, that doesn't tell me shit. <laughs> <laughs> Does the music stop? Anything. All right. So, so um, uh, I think so Matt, I... you find out what is the scroll. Um, I explain it to him. Good. Okay. Um, well, I'm done with breakfast. I'm gonna head to Barton's. See if we can get some sort of. Uh, Transportation and uh, sell the beaver pelts. Anyone want to come with me? Yeah, I want to buy uh, uh, rations for uh, travel. To Barton's it is. Okay. I'm going to head for the shrine. Oh, you're heading for the shrine. All right. So, uh, so Matt, you're going to uh, arrive to the shrine before these guys arrive to Barton. So you arrive to the shrine. Uh, it's a very uh, rudimentary like stone shrine in the outside. Uh, inside it stand uh, a young elf that um, you see. And yeah, you approach her. Is there anyone around? Uh, no, not really. Well, it's in, like, it, it, on the map, it's in kind of the, um, uh, the general place, like the, the huge town circle, if we, you would say. So, like, there is people walking around, but, um, in the shrine itself, it's only the elf. Okay, there's an elf. Yeah. I think, uh deep sigh and move towards the elf you uh hello lady uh you that you that miss who uh i need to check who's taking care of that shrine turns around looks down yeah yeah i i'm i'm my name is uh sister Krahel. I'm I'm in char in charge of this shrine. Yes, uh, welcome. You are. I uh, nice to meet you, uh, Sister Tryhard. What's her real name? Gra Grahel. Gra Ga no Garael. Garael. Galadriel. Ga Gara Garael. The Lady of the Woods. <laughs> yep. Tech. And he starts praying. <laughs> All right, so to Barton it is. To Barton. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make your way to Barton. You uh, open the door. Um, Barton is behind the the corner. Hey guys. Hi. Morning. Been two days now. What have you guys been up to? I heard some rumors. Like, uh, did you guys like kill a bunch of girlfriends? Yeah, pretty much. Rumors are pretty much true. So yeah, that's that's great. Like I I, I told you guys to not mess with them, but I mean, you should have told that... them not to mess with us. Yeah, that's what I I I assume. Um, how may I help you guys today? Um, would you be interested of buying 30 beaver pelts? That's a, that's a, that's a weird request, but, um, 
I, I guess I could find some use to it. Do you, do you, you guys found 30 beaver pelt? Yeah. They were lying around and there was nobody who claimed them, so... Right. I won't ask questions. But, uh, yeah, I can buy them. Um, I don't know how much a beaver pelt. Let me look. Um... I guess I, I I could take one. I could take like two gold piece a piece. So sixty, sure. All right. But, Anything else? Uh, yeah, that's not the, the the main reason I'm here. Um, do you All have right. like an extra cart or horses or something we can use for a longer travel? Extra, no, I have the card that you guys came in with, which is bloody, by the way. Did you guys <laughs> happen to know why? What happened we to got, that card? We got it all cleaned up, but we were a bit surprised. Nani? Uh... There's a radio in. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it was nothing. It was a, um, um, a, a, a person who we have to take care of. And we tried to do our best for cleaning up, but uh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> we are sorry for it. Uh, I mean, I assume it was a bad guy, so... I won't ask too many questions. <laughs> okay. Um, it's better like that. But yeah, I'm, I, we don't use it right now. So if you guys want to, I don't know, you, you wanted to buy one or you wanted to uh, rent one or... Uh, I, I was looking you know. a more permanent solution as buying one. Mm. Um, do you know someone else who could have a cart? Because if it's the only one you have, and it's kind of it's basically your mean of transportation as well, um, I'm just going to cut you short if I take it, buy it, or whatever. Do you know somebody else who would have some? Um, let me think. Maybe... Um, yeah, there's Darren by the old farm. Um, he might have a card like that he can lend you guys or, well, not land, but he might be at, he, he has a farm, so he might have an old cart that you guys can salvage or, um, I don't know. But I would give it a try. All right. Well, I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try with Darren. Then uh, we'll be back probably for uh, rations. I think Tamara, you wanted some rations. Yeah, yeah but um... if... well, I'm going to buy it right now. Yep. You have rations. Yeah, yeah, we we do have rations. Like, uh, if you guys are uh, like going on an uh, exploration or uh, on travel, we have plenty of ration uh, that we can sell you guys. It's about um, uh, it's five silver a piece. How many do you guys need? One silver piece? Per five. Oh, five. Five silver. Okay, so... 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 How many silver? Okay. Uh, I'm going to buy... Uh, ten rations. So he, 
he prepares a uh, duration, put it in like a bag, tie it up, give it to you. There you go. Okay, thank you. I give you the money. The... And Thanks that's it for now. All right. So you guys leave. Um, leave. Um, Helmar and we can go back to Semad. So you just met um, Sister Gra Gara L. She asked you your name. Uh, sorry, I just out there here a bit. My name is uh, Samat Un. And, um, nice to meet you, Samat Un. Yeah, just wanted to know uh, how are you doing on on your part? Is everything good around here since the uh, you know everything we did? You guys are part of the group that came by like two days ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's been rumors going around, like, we had to do something with those guys, and you came in and just took care of it all. It's, it's crazy. Hmm. I, I just wanted thank to know, you, uh... I thank you a lot for that, like, the... Timoris was clearly with you guys. Yeah, I, I would think it would be Kalimbor, but you know, potato, potato. Right. Um, Shmimzi, Fimzi. But I'm sure luck was in, in, involved. And that. Both. Okay. Who's keeping the cemetery? Um. You mean who? Uh, There's no one guarding the cemetery. Where's the gravekeeper? Where's the uh, Kalamvor uh, priest there? There isn't. It's not the big fit. Well, that's a shame. Uh, I guess you're uh, kind of the uh, monopoly of the religious cults here, or the cults, but church. I, I wouldn't call it a monopoly. There's no. I, I'm not. Uh, like forcing anyone to not believe in any of the gods, that's for sure. Um, mm. uh, it's just that it happens to be um, the god that we have here. Well, that's convenient. Uh, tell me. And, if um, anything... Uh, sorry. What? You can make a perception check, actually. I got a 16. Good. Um, see, you actually do notice that uh, she she seems to be um, like n not leaning or limping on her leg. You okay there? Something happened? Oh, um, yeah, I, I'm fine. Uh, I, I, I went on a small trip and it didn't go as planned. A pilgrimage of some sort? Um, you could say that. It, it was an order for, from my, from my order. Um, I, 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 I just had to ask, go and ask a question for um to a, a spirit back in the town of uh Con Where Where's that? Um it's up on the Trebor Trebor Trail. Probably right where you guys came in. Hmm. You had to go ask a spirit? Yeah, um and, um her name is Agatha. Uh, 
I, my superiors wanted me to ask a question about a spellbook that they need some information about. Um, and I went there and she didn't appear. So I, I think there needs to be something that um, we need to, I don't know, present as a gift uh, for our troop here or something like that. And it didn't happen. You couldn't present it. I didn't. I didn't have it. I, I just went it, uh, and then I, I did some more research, and I found out there's a uh, there's um, a heirloom that was passed in her family that could be um, something that will help make her happier. Yeah. So here's the deal. I kind of never really said it, but as you can see on my armor and everything I'm fucking wearing, I'm a Kalimvor cleric. You know what that is? I, 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 I got an idea, yeah. You buddy better fucking sure you got an idea, because that's because of Kalimvor here that your, your town isn't full of undead. Okay? So... Oh, by the way, there were some undead that we took care of. Don't know where they came from. Maybe a necromancer of some sort. I don't know. Turns out I'm a Kalimvor cleric. And I kind of don't like when people can't rest after they're dead. So that spirit stuff is kind of get, getting to me uh, unexpectedly. I just came here to know if... Uh, you was open to maintaining that graveyard, but uh, turns out there's other stuff hidden uh, behind your little story there. That tickles me, you know? I'm not sure. So you're proposing your help? I'm saying it butters me. I'm not engaging into anything of any sort. But it... let's just say I'm curious. What would you have more? You got my attention, and for uh, some of your kind, it's quite rare. Quite well nowadays, I, there's a bunch of elves going around, and it doesn't seem to bother me that much. I don't know why, but uh. It's gonna pass, you know. It's just a question of uh, what are the bridge. One day or another, you're gonna you gotta turn out to be exactly how I saw you before. So uh, you better make it quick and uh, tell me about your little problem there. What's the spell book stuff? Uh, you wanna set the spirit free? What do you wanna do? If you don't tell me, you wanna bring it back to the living. Cause then I'm gonna kill you. I. <laughs> <laughs> she seems startled. Uh, no, um, I, I, I wasn't gonna try to bring it back to the living. That's not uh, uh, that is really not what kind of work I do. Um, but I was, not. I, um, uh, so it, it just said, uh, like my my order. We we found that this ghost can answer any questions. If we can... Just like that. Well, I mean, it needs to appear first. And then probably um, appeal to its vanity. Hmm. And it, it, it can answer a question. And my order... Uh, I, like, I don't really know uh, what the spellbook is, um, is about. They're, they're just... They want to know where it is where that's what which spell book um from one religious guy to another religious gal we can uh share that right yeah um i mean i i'm a bit concerned of sharing too much information it, it, 
I, it's still my job. I, I know I failed the first time, but uh, I, I, I did some more research and I, I found the heirloom, so I was planning on going back. So I don't want to involve you guys too much if that's not something. Look, it's kind of my business to make sure that ghost goes to kill him more in the afterlife and what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, you know? It's kind of my business, if you wish. My job. So, I need to know what's up with this ghost so it can rest in peace and get on with this afterlife. Please help me. Do I smell a side quest? <laughs> <laughs> so, um... So we want to know where, um, yeah, we want to know where the location of the spell book of a, a mage named Bo Gentle is. Bo Gentle. Here's a name I can remember. Bo Gentle. It's it kind of sounds like genitals but i don't want to say it you, you did you just did yeah but uh, if it so helps you, you remember it it's it's, it's a, it, it can say it. it can you you said it, that ghost can talk to people so you don't know you don't need anything other than uh, a gift a special gift to talk to that ghost, that's what you're saying. Well, I hope so. I, I mean, it's not foolproof. It's just that it's what I gather now. Um, that by presenting this heirloom, uh, that the ghost should appear. It has some. And we, some you're saying you you went there. I went there in, uh, yeah, previously. Alone. Yes. Are right, you a little brave bastard, aren't you? I can hold my own. Or you can. Well, I mean, now There's I. There's only like... one room for a cleric in this town. Oh. Uh, just kidding. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, so if, 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 if let's just say if my companions are agree, would you be willing to come with us see that ghost so we can collaborate in that endeavor? Um, I would I would love to. Um, but my my legs my leg me slow you guys down I, okay you just I said I, you can hold your own I, just I, get I, your story straight I, god fucking damn it i i can but i mean last time it was pretty rough and i got hurt <laughs> i know yeah i bet you so uh, tell me about that what got you, uh, riffled up? Oh, um, it was just wolves on, on the road coming back. Can own your own, yeah, my fucking eye. Alright, just, uh, you wanna go back to the inn and talk to the guys about it? You, oh, you, you mean you're, you're, um, you you're... The other member of your team. Yeah, my 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 crew. I got a crew. <laughs> I'm not going in alone like a stupid shit. Oh no offense. <laughs> non, non <-tay> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come here. Yeah. Does she have like a, a um cane or something to support? No, um, she was sitting down. But, uh, she doesn't have anything around. She's just limping. Is there a big snap every time she walks on the weak leg? 
Like it's broken? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, I, th I think you just need uh, a little fixing there. Alright. Can I, you, you can walk, right? <laughs> you can do that at least, right? I, yeah, I can. I, I can walk. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your, your concern. I hope you like bacon. Um, I'm uh, not my favorite food. Yeah, well, of course not. I prefer salad. <laughs> Hey, I'm just walking towards the tavern. Is she pulling? No. You want? You don't want to meet my friends? Oh, you, you, you! I, I thought you were gonna go talk to them and come back. You, you want me to meet nah, them? Yeah, I want, I want, I want you to meet them. Yes, yes, I, I'll, I'll come. I'll come. And she, she starts <laughs> following you. Uh, yeah, just limping on her legs, trying to catch up, but it's not fast. It looks like uh, you're taking a while to come. <laughs> and walking to the wizard's tavern. Um, so you guys that are in Barton. Yep. You're done. Uh, what are you uh, guys doing now? Um, well, if it's uh, good with you two, we could go at Darren's straight. So we can get the, the cart problem settled sorry no objections yes. okay i see no fine we okay can go. Let, we go we're, we're, let's go to darren's then walk walk where is darren's so darren is just... did we move to darren's or we see no we're, we're still at carl's carl and mm. myrna So, Darren is is actually here. Knock knock. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you arrive at Darren's place. It's uh, it's mainly like uh, what you would call a farm. So, big field. Um, like uh, cattle in in uh, a small like fence, a small house, place to store like a shed to store stuff, um, and so you go in and you knock on the door. No, I knock before going in. Okay. Um, you, there's no answer when you lock uh, you knock in all right um i'm gonna go like slightly behind the house and i'm gonna scream darren's uh, where you don't are have to you scream. I, as as you uh. make your way around the house you you can see someone in uh, in the fields right now. Darren, is it you? So you just shout or you make your way there? Both. All right. Um, so he, 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 he turns around, looks at you, you guys like he doesn't know you at all. And you're just sh shouting his name. <laughs> and like he, he looks very uncertain of like, what kind of weirdos are coming <laughs> in, in his field, uh, screaming in his name, looking at him, waving. Um, so you, you get closer. Um, and what you see is uh, it's an half elf and he, he looks like kind of old. So um, for a half elf, he's probably like a hundred years old or something like that. Um, so yeah, he, uh, you make your way, he looks nice. at you, uh, 
Hey, guys. Good morning. Um, I, I don't know you, but, mm. um, you seem to know my name. Uh, yeah, we just came from, uh, Barton's, and he told us, uh, Darren good lad, good would, lad. would live here, so... It's that's me. that's why I'm, I'm Darren. Yes, you, uh, you got that right. Um, how may I help you guys? Uh, I haven't we, seen you around. Um, uh, we've been in you... town for two days, and oh. yeah, we're in town to take care of a rodent problem. It's been taken care of, so that will... that's that's good. Rodent, yeah. they eat crop and. It's bad. Bring, they bring disease, all that stuff. It's, it's good. Mhm. Mm of course. Um. We were told you might have a cart for sale. I have a cart. I, uh, I never put it for sale, per se. Is it on sale? Uh, are you guys looking to buy? Well, yes, we're... We expect to do a long trip and we would pretty much like uh, something to rest once in a while and carry our stuff. Um, are you guys going to the uh, old, old... You guys are adventurer, right? Yeah. Are you going to the old oil well? No. Oh. All right. Old old. Um, How did the old hole? That hole, all like um, all. Yeah, that's what I said. Hole. O, o W L. Owl. Owl. That's owl. Yeah. Old sorry. owl. Well, owl. okay. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. The what's what's at the old owl? L. Well. Well. Um. It's just rumors that I've heard of miners around. Am I smelling a side quest? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, just... rumors. Rumors about what? Um, undeads chasing down miners around it. Just weird magical, uh, like aura, stuff like that. Are you going to give us a card? Give? Buy? Give us. Come on. I mean, if, no. if what you're looking for is a cart, I, I do have an old one that I'm not using. I can certainly sell it to you guys. When you say you have an old one, would you describe it as in you, you don't use it anymore because it, it has become dangerous or it's because you don't need it? Well, I'm asking how much repair kit for cart are we gonna have to buy if we would buy your cart it certainly is a fixer upper but uh i mean it it runs like it, it, it you can use it. It, it it's working and do you also provide horses to to put in front of the cart um, or oxen? Yeah. Are you looking for oxen or uh, horses? I, I I have oxen. I don't have horses. Then it would be probably oxen. Alright. Um, yeah. Uh, Not as fast, but it pulls a cart. Does the job. Um, quick question. The old owl well, where is it? Is it north of here? Is it south? Is it west, east? It's 
northeast, up in the hills. All right. And uh, you're saying that's miners that has trouble. Uh, would the uh, hell yeah know anything about it from the miners exchange? Probably not much more than the r rumors I heard. Mm, okay. All right. So how much for a cart? And two oxen. One oxen? How many oxen does it require? It's a two oxen cart. Okay. Um, do I have cart on my table? Do you? I would say. Um, it would be about 50 gold pieces for both oxen and the cart i would uh leave it go for uh 20 gold piece so 50 for the oxen but 20 for the cart yeah if you uh it's i'm going beef. to give, they are good I'm going, good beast i'm going to give uh to fern a uh, 20 gold for the cart hold up lady um, okay. <laughs> I do have 60 gold right now in my hands, in my pocket, very close. Would it do? Persuasion check. <laughs> Is it gonna be bad? Okay, okay. Persuasion? How much do I have persuasion? I have a nine. Let's say we can settle for 25, uh, 65. Fine. 65 it is. <laughs> um. So basically, I trade the 60 gold from the beaver pelt plus 5 gold. Uh, when would the cart be ready? It's in, the, it's in the shed. It's ready. You guys can... We can go get the oxen in the field and uh, bring them, tie them to the cart. Uh, I can do it for you guys if you want to pass by uh, later on, but um, if you want to help me, we can do it now. Uh, we're in no need of, uh, of it like this very morning. So I would probably come back this afternoon to get it all packed up. I'll get that ready for you guys. Feed the oxen, give you guys maybe some leftover uh, wheat so that you can have something to give them on on the road but yeah i can have that ready for you guys all right what the, you... um do you know if barton sells repair kits just in case it it sh should probably be in the range of stuff that he's selling i um i i certainly bought one in the past from him so yeah, I would say he, he probably has some. All right. I'll be back this afternoon. Thank you, Darren. Sorry if uh, we, we came on hard Darren. earlier saying like, Darren, it's, it happens. Good day. And I'm heading back to the inn. So the whole crew gathers back to the inn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you make your way uh, there. Um, Simat is waiting with an elf. 
that you have no clue who it is and uh yeah you you enter but you your your species ever fart um i i i'm not sure i'm comfortable with this subject i was just wondering you guys look so uh perfect you know uh you must have a flaw somewhere. Well, um, I have to brush my hair in the morning. Yeah, that's all you can. That's all you do. You all brush your hair and <laughs> draw ponies. That's all you do. It's it's not how we do. Um. Yeah, you get uh, eaten uh, by wolf also. <laughs> I'm slapping the table while they come in. Oh, hey guys. Uh, this is, uh, uh, <laughs> this is Miss, uh, she just stands, um, yeah, and presents her Gra herself. Gra 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 Sister, Sister Gra Garael, nice to meet you. You are, uh, Samat's friends, I assume? Well, friends, yeah. that's coming hard. We're the one who kind of... Uh... That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're the ones who can tolerate his jokes, basically. And contribute to some of them as well. But, um, that makes yeah. you guys very strong characters. You can say that You're again. Strong. You're strong, flux, yeah. Flux, flux. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, he's up for grabs if you want him. I know that you priests and all can't, uh, but you know, uh, if you ever you get like denied by your god, he's available. I, I'm, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Yeah. If you ever get the urge, come see Fern. I say, uh, that <laughs> I say to the no, sister, nice, nice, nice to meet you. Uh, I never imagined that uh, an elf could be here in the city. Yeah, um, it's very nice to see one of our kinds. Um, nice to meet you. you I didn't catch, quite catch your name. What, what's your name? My name is Tamara. Nice to meet you. Fern. Um, so, and for the jokes, just let it be. Yeah, yeah. So much attention to that. You must have had quite a time with them. Yep. That's right. I feel you. She does. She does. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> we do have fun. Um, Dublin, come at this time, asking. Hey, so you guys, anything uh, you want to to drink or um? Hey, Garel, nice uh, to see you here. Um, anything to you? Any food? Any drinks? What time Beer. is it? Uh, yeah, what time is it? Beer um, time. Beer time. Are we so close to had, midday? <laughs> you had a beer uh, for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, at, at this point, I say um, with what you guys did is. Probably midday, so probably lunchtime. Well, Toblin, I'm gonna have lunch and refreshments, aka you know beer. What? Beer. Yeah. One beer. Two beers. Two beers. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the same as this morning. Just put an extra egg and uh, maybe some extra bacon. I think. Uh, so a bigger meal than you had this morning, basically. Yeah, yeah, it's midday. I've uh, spent a lot. Actually, no. So breakfast as a lunch deal. Gotcha. Lunch and beer for me. All right. Garel, you want anything? Um, do you have Idromel? Uh, oh, um, fuck me. I have I have wine. 
I, I can get you some wine. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have wine. Thank you. All right. Tell, tell you I'll what, bring you tell guys you everything. Let's make a deal. If we get ever get on this quest of yours and we succeed, you don't ever drink ad, adro that shit you just ordered in front of me. Um, um, I guess if uh, it makes you, uh, li like ever, N never. Yeah, you know how uh, you you elves are like uh, all sensitive, and uh, you don't like when we piss on trees. That gets you uncomfortable. That fans you. Well, for us, all the drinking hydro is kind of that you know it's it's kind of the same thing if you, if you like it's like I, I was pissing on your favorite tree you talk to trees right i don't talk to trees um, oh. i'm not sure i get your um analogy but um if it makes you happy I, I can stop drinking it for a week. It's like eating salads without croutons. Don't do that. You just don't. Right. So we, if you drink hydromel, you don't drink beer. Well, uh, you can drink anything, even wine. Like even Chumrara is drinking something else than Hydromel. You know what I mean? So this is just a uh, thing to consider. Yeah, uh, I, I'll, I'll consider it. I like that answer. Oh, oh she's, a, she's a priestess uh, taking care of the shrine, of the lucky lady, uh, and whatnot. And she told me about that spirit that's uh, in the neighboring town. Spirit that uh, supposedly uh, know the location of a spell book that used to be owned by a mage called... Um, um, the mage is... The mage is called Bow Gentle. Barbin you, Western. You said you would remember it. It's, it's no, I don't remember he's not it. going to remember anything. Sister. The guy is called Barbin Western. He had the spell book. Spirit knows where it is. The spirit is a bit like a, must be a elf spirit because it's uh it's a bit tricky to please. You know, uh, it gets offended a lot, and uh, you need to bring the proper gifts. Uh, yeah. How? So that, the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm not racist for ghosts, right? Uh, for ghosts. It's how it is, how it works. Ghost to ghost, need to go through the afterlife. And I'm very interested to, uh, since it's a neighboring town, I'm very interested to uh, see this through. Yeah. Well, well uh, it's just if you do, you guys don't mind. I mean, I can live with ghosts that don't get in the afterlife, especially if uh, it's elf ghosts. But, uh, you know, could use a... Uh, we never talked about rewards, didn't we? Where, where, for, first, where is it? We did it. it, it yeah, so he, he got most of this story straight, actually. Except uh, the name. That sounds like bow genitals. Remember. You, you said you would remember the name, which you didn't. But uh, the rest was accurate. It, it is. Um, um, it is in in the town of um, Coneyberry. It's on the Tri Tribar Trail. You, you can follow follow the trail uh, to to the town and um, the name of the ghost is Agatha it, it says that she can answer any question it's just that we are looking for uh, a spell book so what I would like is to ask her the location of that spell book from uh, owned by the a wizard called Bow Gentle that is um, 
that is what I was trying to do. I failed, but with some more research, I, I, I found some clues that could help to make Agatha appear. And then by giving compliment and uh, I don't know, uh, just trying to appeal the vanity of the ghost, she could answer the question. So we can answer a lot of questions or just one? Well, what uh, our order is trying to learn is the spell book. So um, the question I would like you guys to ask is the location of the spell book so that I can um, I, I, I can uh, complete my, my mission that was given by my order. OK. And about reward, like Samet mentioned, um, I'll have to look into my, my things. I think I have maybe one or two healing potion lying around that I could maybe give you guys as a payment. Okay, just healing potions? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I don't have much. That that's what I I, I have. Uh, the Your most order expensive. might have much. M maybe I can inquire. Um, uh huh. Uh huh. Would you be coming yeah, with us? What are you gonna do if we're if we're not here? I mean, what you gonna do? You just gonna like say fuck fuck you order? I'm not doing that shit anymore. I got hurt. Screw yourself. No, you, you got us now. You got an opportunity. They got an opportunity to do it. I agree. Um, but like, what would you guys feel like appropriate payment? Like, uh, I, I have to look how many potion, but like three healing potion is quite a, a big, um, a big sum of, um, like it's worth quite a bit. Maybe. What did you say that contains the, the book? The book contains the spells? Um, I, I don't know the details. It's just that we are interested in the location of the book. But right, you don't so, know what is in the book. Mm -hmm. we, we might need to know that because it could be a, a book that brings the dead back and we don't want that. You know what I mean? Uh, have you met a dead before? Fortunately, not. I mean, one who's alive. Dead or alive? Oh. Undead. No. That's what I taught. <laughs> you have no reason to fear that uh, spell book. Um, well, I do. I, I couldn't say, really. I would have to. Um, Maybe I, we I, can I, just. I, I don't ask that talking. kind of questions. Sorry? Well, you said you don't know how is the book. I, I think the book is a spell book. So we can learn something from the book. We can use the book. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I get that doesn't have the book. She might know where to find it. Exactly. But if you going, if she's going to say us the location and you're going to find the book, you can share with us the book too. We, we can look into the book before you give it to your order. And my order is just looking for the information of where the book is. I think they will take it from uh, there once we get oh. the location. So I don't know. I, I, I probably will never see that book. Um, How fast can uh, you talk to them? Well, I can send a letter and wait for a reply. It's not really fast. Don't you have uh, spells of some sort for that? I do not. 
Maybe you do. Maybe. But um, I'll have to pray a bit. You didn't uh, answer my question from before. Are you or are you not going to be with us if we accept? Love to come, but I I don't think I'm gonna be much help. I'd probably yeah, she just... can't really come real fast. <laughs> um, what he's trying to say is that I I got hurt and I I don't walk very fast and I wouldn't hold my own in any form of battle. It's fine. We need someone to watch over a cart. Could you watch um, over a cart? What cart? Oh, yeah, uh, I forgot to mention that. Uh, we got a cart. We we what? bought a cart from uh, Darren's. He owns a farm up uh, up on the road. I don't know who's Darren, but why do we need a cart for? Darren is a nice guy. I don't we, care what you think. We needed a cart to move for transportations, rations, ourselves. Unless you wanted to walk the whole walk. way. But the cart wow. is going to be a bit faster. Oh, the cart is fast. Faster ah, than walking, it. yeah. Okay. We got good horses for that? Hoxons. No, I think it's no S. Oxen. DM, do we know if Oxens is faster than walking? Um, or a cart is faster than walking? I even I don't know. Not sure. I, it, it it's not a lot faster. <laughs> I would yeah, say you don't have to walk, walk. so it yeah. is faster. Yeah, you can make, uh, you can travel longer in the day. There. And uh, basically, it just costs uh, five gold and the beaver pelts. So it wasn't really that expensive. Yeah, it's no problem. Money's no problem. I just wanna... <laughs> Shit, fuck. Yeah. The boot could not be less uh, less uh, clear on... Transportations? Travel, uh, speed? Yeah, transportations and speeds and... I have it somewhere. I just need to... You know, there's mounts and vehicles. I got camel. Oxen is not a mount. No, it's not a mount. So I got ri riding horse, drafts horse, mule, donkey, camel. Let's say pony. it's like. Let's say it's between a donkey and a horse for draft. There's no speed on a cart because you got to pull that cart. It's more like a speed on a beast that pulled the cart. Well, so it's well, more like it, what? The horse for draft and the donkey, what's the speed? Well, oh, the donkey yeah, yeah. is... Here. Both you are know? 40 feet, so it's 40 feet the speed. So it's like a draft horse or a mule yeah. or donkey. Mm-hmm. 40 feet, so it's a so bit it's faster than <laughs> certainly faster than me. <laughs> yep. All right, that, that's a good idea there. So you can, uh, lady, you can, uh, yeah, you can come with us and watch the cart. You're going to be our cart keeper. That's an honorable position in our crew. An important one and um darren also said something about the old owl well there would Say be that five times fast 
Old owl well, old owl well, old owl well, old owl well. Old owl well? All right, cheers, and that. Ding! <laughs> There's been rumors of undead chasing down miners. It would be uh, to the northeast of Fandolin. Is it? Is it close to Con Connie Barry? Connie Barry? That's a good question. Connie Barry. So undead, huh? Jesus Christ! Give me a breathing room. It is. It is close. I, I, I gotta close as in I gotta get there too. Old hour well, uh, Connie Berry, or the opposite. I'm like I'm like looking at like I'm, really. You know about old owl owl well? Old owl well? Um, I've 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 heard the name. It's in the hills. It's also like um on Tribur Tribur Trail, uh going northeast, but um it's probably a bit more uh, like once you get to Cunnyberry. Uh, old all well would be more to the the southeast of the trail, but uh, if you make it all the way to Cunnyberry, you you're you're close to uh, the old all well, about maybe um, like twenty miles from Cunnyberry. Not bad. We could do it in one trip. Do it all. So what do you guys think? You mentioned that I didn't want it to see undeads. And now we're planning to go to some places. That was that always have... the first time, lady. Uh, right. Undead are not so bad. You know, uh, they're old buddies of mine. The undead are buddies of you? Nah, I know what it is. I know what it look like. And it ain't pretty, but uh, if you want to come, then uh, there's always a first time. <laughs> Persuasion check. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, mm, that would be a. That would be a twenty-two. Yeah, I. I mean, you guys are helping me, so. Um. The last thing I can do is not help you guys on your other adventure. Uh huh. Well, uh, anything we can do about your lag there? Um. I mean, if I stay in the cart, it shouldn't be an issue. Well, and... if you're gonna fight undeads, it's it's up to you. I mean, you can stay with the cart. You can come with us. Ah, uh, you decide, but if you want to walk in solution, uh, you want to might want to consider some kind of at least a cane or a, <clears throat> sorry, at least, uh, I don't know, prosthetics. You're not up there yet. Yeah, maybe, maybe a cane. You, you want to cut off my leg and put a prosthetic? I, 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 there's no bad idea. I mean, uh, it's up to you. I'm no, just throwing it out there. We're brainstorming. We're brainstorming. There's no bad or she idea. just could stay uh, in I the would cart. I that's a bad idea. 
but um, I, I I I can probably find something that I can use it as a can cane. It's up to you. You decide. Uh, no, yeah. I, I think if we're going on an adventure, um, it should it, it would be better if I have something that can help me walk in my uh, current condition. And what can you do? I mean, can you do stuff like this? Um, Prestigitating uh, the opening of the door. She, um, she looks at, uh, I, like, so what are you doing exactly? You're just opening everything? Or? Ma the door magically. Just the front door? Yeah. <laughs> Toblin, Toblin just, like, uh, runs to it, like, close the door, and n not too sure what's happening. Um, Goddamn she... wind, huh? Well, sorry to fight that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, very weird. Um, but uh, Garel, she doesn't look impressed. Um, I mean, yeah, I can do some stuff like that, but um, I, 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 I don't have a lot of abilities. Can you take care of wounds? Um, I mean, I can. I, like I, I, not not in the form of um, like healing spells or anything like that, uh, but I can help like bandage wounds and do oh, healing slabs and things it. like that. Wait, so <laughs> are you saying uh, your god doesn't love you enough to give you magical powers? I wouldn't put it that way. I would. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do do I we don't, all? I don't think you need to come, sweet, sweet, sweet pa. Okay. Um. You 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 don't want me anymore. Well. I look at the residue group. I mean, it's up to her. Like I said, she could just stay in the cart, watch over the cart, but that's pretty much her only purpose. Or serve as a guide, because she made the travel before, and I don't know shit all where we're going. That makes me think I really want a map of the surroundings, the countryside, or everything. You got a point there. Sure, we, we say, like, we go northeast. Where the fuck is northeast? There yeah, she could, no she could be our guide. There isn't a lot of, like, roads. There's a trail. And you pretty much follow the trail. To well, Connie if Berry. That's all. You don't really need her. Yeah, can you draw a map? Because, uh, you know, last time we kind of regretted stuff. So, uh, can you draw an actual or, map? Or do you Take know anyone who sells or where we could get a map? That would be awesome. Um, that would be a great help. More than, uh, you coming and uh, not being able to uh, do anything. Uh, I don't want to be a, a jerk here, but I, that w you would be kind of a reliability. I understand completely. And ah. um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm asking you guys for help and if you can complete this on your own, that would leave me uh, here free to heal here. But for the map, uh, I think you, uh, you, you should try Barton's. 
Uh, Barters. Barters or Barton? Barton, sorry. Barton. Yes. Barton uh, should be the person to ask. He, he's the one with the, the more diverse, diversify uh, inventory for things like traveling and uh, goods like this. So I, would, I see he's an a guy who uh, we sold that uh, stuff to. Barton is uh, when 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 we first came in town, we had supplies. Well, it was for Barton. That's right. That's the one. He he got two sons, Slender and Percival. I can remember names. Yes. So, uh, shall we go there? So you guys are going directly to Barton, or? Am I? Or you guys are? <laughs> Am I? <laughs> so uh, we need to buy to buy a. Uh, no, first of all, do 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 we accept this side quest? Well, it's kind of a side quest to an already existing side quest that 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 I can't understand, right? There's undeads in a well, and there's a spirit that knows the location of a spell book we know nothing about that needs to be set free. Yeah. So, yes. <clears throat> We really do have a dwarf with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go I'm north. Doing it on purpose. You guys <laughs> tell me if it's too much too much annoying. I'm just I I have this trade, just to be clear, I have this trade. I don't know why I take it. It I I I have a foul language. Um my language is as foul as a no chug's nest. What? No. Oh, no uh, a chug's nest? A uh, chug? It, it's, I got a foul language. Basically. Yeah. You did well. Okay. <laughs> right. So what's the plan? Um, well, I think after lunch, we should go uh, get our card first at Darren's, make an uh, assessment of how it looks, and then go to Barton's to get a map, some repair kits, and provision for the trip. I don't know how long it is to go to Conneberry, so we're going to have to plan accordingly. Just so you know, I put copper in a uh, cell. And once we're ready to go to uh, the uh, Kragmaw's fortress, he's got to be our guy. I got to bring him bacon every day. I, maybe I'll hire someone to do it in my stead. And I and turn to at... the lady. <laughs> Me as well. <laughs> I just feel all the the Luke's turn to her. Uh, what exactly is copper? Uh, yeah, it's it's a goblin that's in the cell in the town hall. He just uh, grab bacon did from you say here. Goblin? Yeah, he's a guy. He's a. Uh, we a took guy. him. Uh, that's a long story. Just uh, call him copper. Deliver bacon to him every day. Every morning, he's gonna be happy. You can talk to him if you want. Uh, just, uh, you know, don't fuck with him. Make, some, make another persuasion check <laughs> to see if the elf <laughs> wants to give bacon to a goblin in a cell every day. I, I, I got a seven. Oh. <laughs> um, 
you know what? I I don't think I'm the right person to do this. I, I, I can ask around and maybe what I can do for you guys is find you someone to do it. But Ah that I, that can be good as well. I mean that works. As long as copper gets bacon, everything's gonna be fine. So he is hey, in Don't don't just don't town. send a child, alright? Don't just don't send a child there. I won't ask, but yes, uh, I, I would never send a child feed a goblin. Well, we um, never know, huh? So, this uh, goblin is in in the, t the town master hall? Yeah, he's in the town, in the cells in the town hall. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'll, 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 arrange, I'll arrange that. Um, He's important because he knows stuff. He knows how to get to that Krogmall place we want to get later. That's the most important stuff. That's our main quest. All the storyline is, is there. In that one goblin's head. Mm -mm. Everything relies on the goblin. So you that guys... You guys are relying everything on a goblin. Well, not everything. We know Kragmaw's up north. It's just that's the same. We know. I mean, he's our god. Good. Um, and he's not difficult. You just deliver bacon to him and give him a cup or two once in a while, and he's very happy. I mean, it's more than you. I, was, I draw a metal drink. I was kind of getting worried. Um, or for this task at hand. <laughs> for but, our plan. Um, You're getting worried for us. Okay, let's do a comparison here. And I, no, I, I, was I, I had a few drinks already. So, kind of a getting <laughs> up and setting aside the table and, and jo like putting. Okay, so let's. We just cleared a. a. a town's criminal organization. And one go. And you got eaten by our wolves. <laughs> Apparently very bad. So you tell me who we should be worrying about. You have your ways. Um, yeah. yeah. It, it, it just felt like... Putting everything on a goblin was a bad idea, but I, I'm sure you guys are gonna um, use it well and get to your means. Traveling alone at night to a neighboring town with ghosts in it is a bad idea. Yes. I, I, I'm getting up and I'm saying, I'll be back. And I get out. I'm gonna go get the cart at the uh, Darren's. Hey, I'm coming with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, Garel is just gonna stand up, and she's just gonna say, "Um, all right. So, I, I I'm gonna go try and figure something out for that goblin. I guess." Very um, well. Thank you for uh, for your help. I hope you have safe travel and you're able to figure uh, this out for us. Um, make sure we get the heirloom, by the way. Garel. You go gone? Gone? Hmm? Aren't you gone? I don't know. Am I gone? <laughs> Yeah, I get up, I said I'll be back, but then you all started talking. I didn't leave no. quite right well, now. Well, she, she was going to leave because both of you guys left. Oh, okay. Tulu. So, I see two sisters like, don't worry for the goblin. He is a good guy. Just uh, take care for him. He's important for us. For the moment. Yes. Yes. I, I, I can do that. Um, if he's important, then um, 
I'll, I'll take care of it. Don't okay. worry. Thank you again. Um, drop by the, the shrine when you leave if you um, want to say bye. Okay. All right. Bye. And she makes her way out. So uh, Samat and Fern, you guys are going to... Um, Darren, to get the cart. Darren, to get the cart. You arrive there. The cart is in uh, in front of the the house. The oxen are uh, attached to it. There's some uh, wheat in the cart, and now you you get a look at the cart, and it's pretty old. Like it it it, it is functional. Like it it's uh, uh it's not broken, and uh it it will like roll but it is old and worn like out. if it gets hit it could fall down um <laughs> uh, yeah okay oh. <laughs> old cart not not much hit points left on that one <laughs> <laughs> all right so you so yeah darren is just okay he, yeah i he, see like, darren is finishing up, uh, like okay. tying the whatever on the oxen. He okay. see you. Hey, what's up, Darren? I've get. Uh, I got everything settled for you guys. Um, got some food for the oxen. Uh, everything's tied up. Uh, the cart is good. Uh, yeah, if you want to take it, um, just gonna take the the payment and you can be off your. On your way. Ah. Uh, yes. 60 gold, uh, as we agreed. It, would Bolton have something more reliable? Are you asking me? Yeah. Uh, we asked Barton already. He doesn't have a free cart. And the one he has is full of blood. That, that would suit me more than this old rat, right? Oh, I could do the trick, I guess. Yeah. Since we're not we're, bringing the priestess. We we have to go to Barton's anyway. Maybe I'm going to ask him if he could pimp my ride. Or at least or make sure exchange. it makes the trip. Maybe an exchange would be great. We'll see what we can get. Yeah. I'll leave that to you. Thank you, Darren. Here's your gold. Thank you. Pleasure to make deal with you guys. Hope you have safe travel. Fairly well. And I exit. Bye bye. Get on the cottage. Yeah. All right. So you guys drop by the inn or what? Are uh, no, I'm going straight to. Bartons. I'm in the cart. Does it look like sturdy enough to carry uh, the group? Yeah. Like, uh, like you see, like the 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 wood has been like chipped after use, and, and like it's uh, like very very rough and everything. Like like, it, but it's holding together. It's just that it, it it's worn out. Like it, it yeah, doesn't it's look it. new, but it's still yeah. doing the job. He's okay. it's 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 it saw better days. It mm. it did, but, yeah. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's holding. Oh, yeah, like okay. you, you're in the car and it's fine. So I'm th stopping by at the Barton's. Knock knock. No. So what's Tamara and Kate doing? You're just back in the the inn, or? Mm. Yes, we don't have much to do. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they would wait for yeah. us. My my guess is that sitting at a table alone with Kate is just awkward stares. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Little coughs and <laughs> talking about cool. weather for thirty seconds. And... It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you like trees? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fun talk. I could I could stop at the end now. I started yeah, looking I'll, I'll with stop, the... I'll stop at the end to, to, to pick uh, these two up. <laughs> Bird. Yeah, the Mars like, oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> you guys came back. <laughs> and they see the card was like, whoa. I mean, that card is a little bit... That wasn't the thing I was I was expected. I was expected a little bit more bigger, new, huh. okay. new, and uh, I don't know, it's a little bit rough. That car. I just need a little little paint, and everything's gonna be back like <laughs> perfect. <laughs> just need a little well, paint. Well, we need that for travel. That's the point. Uh, and do he just you... pit stop. So I'll let uh, you guys do the scene and uh, I'm coming back. Okay. Yeah. I thought you wanted to, uh, us to make a pit stop with the cart. Okay. Um, I'm pissing in the cart. <laughs> marking his territory. Um, like a goblin. Mm. <laughs> oh. So what I, I'm heading to Barton's. You guys uh, want to come along? Yeah. Yeah. Go. Okay. No, don't say yes all at the same time. Thank you. Yeah. You moved your way. Not that fast. Too Barton. But faster. <laughs> then walking. Faster. It's uh, ten feet more than if we were walking. Hmm? For me. So, um, okay. Do you make your way to Barton? Barton's. Provisions. Um. In a map. It's not Barton supplies. No, it's Barton provisions. Really? I'm pretty sure. My notes have been a lie. <laughs> Unless mine are a lie. Yeah, it's Barton's provisions. Rip. It's okay. Um, knock, hey, knock. you guys are back. What's up, Barton? What's up? Yeah, um, we have a card after all. We found a card from Darren. So, yeah, so, um, Darren had one. He could lend you guys. It's right? a bit, it's a bit rough on the edge, but mm -hmm. still holds together. Uh, do you have That's any great. repair kits or can you take a look no, at the cart no, just to make, no, so you don't. it's, it's, it's holding that good. That's what you're, you're telling me, you know, just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, repair kit. Hmm. I don't have any left Because it's stock. sure we're going to have troubles with that car. Sorry? Is, is sure that we're going to have troubles with that car? Mm. In, their, in that state. Yeah. So we need that kit. Um, I mean, I can look at it. Is it that bad? I don't know. I'm not an expert in cart. But uh, if you could look at it, and if there's immediate repairs that you might say like, oh, the axle on that wheel looks bad. If you could repair the axle on the wheel or the ball joints. <laughs> he don't know what he's talking about. Uh, they're right. all pieces of cars. So, nah. Okay. <laughs> but not yeah. carts. I don't know. It's in there. I'm sure there's an axle on a cart. Probably not a ball joint. Um, so, so yeah, he, he comes out uh, with you guys. Uh, take a look at the cart. Oh, oh, 
Wow. Yeah, that's that's an older. Axel. Yeah, Axel, there it is. Yay. But you said ball joint. Uh, don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Wow. It's an old one. That's for sure. Um. It's as old as I, Darren. I have one of my own repair kit. That I guess I I could uh, sell to you guys. Just I, I was keeping it for me, but you guys think clearly think need it more. You clearly <laughs> need it more than I do. Um, nice. So the repair kit is. Um, could cost you about 20 gold. Okay. Okay. We, we'll we'll, we we'll take it in. for sure. And All the right. other thing I had was, um, do you have a map of the countryside? Or the surroundings, or... Or where it is, Con Con Conniberry Town? Conniberry, yeah. yeah. Where we are in space and time. There is really only one road. Uh, I can go look in the back if I have something that looks like a map. Yes, um, please. Give, give me a minute. He goes back and uh, he goes in the back, comes back uh, with the repair kit and a map. Got the map, I got the map. So yeah, I, the uh, map. I found that it's not it's not pretty, but uh, should do the job. And I I, I guess for that. Um, Throw in another 10 gold pieces and the map is yours. Okay. Wait, wait. 20 gold for repair kit on a cart? And 10 gold for an old map? Or not the prettiest map? The map seems a bit overpriced to me. find a map anywhere else in the town that's just supply and demand I can cut the price by mm, four gold four so that um, puts it at six or you put it at four gold no at six So, 26 gold for both? Yes. Sure. It's 26... There, give you 26 gold, and I take a map. Map? Give me map. Woo! Oh, okay, I have a map. Hey, even old owl well, it's written on a map. You have the map, uh, Kevin, or it's on roll twenty. Can we see it? It's on oh, it's on roll twenty. Well, it's a good map. Yeah, it's a good map. It's a fucking good map. It's the only one I have. So. <laughs> <laughs> but for 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 the roleplay 
Like, you yeah. just took it out of, like, the back store, and, like, <laughs> it's full of dust, and there's, like, wine on it, and it's rotten at the corners, but this one looks great. It's just... <laughs> So each you, time you can I'm put saying... it in the in the in the side where where is the um, the photo of the of the sword and the letter. I can put it um, as a handout. Give me two seconds. There's a lot of material in that campaign. It's great. Well, I mean. It's, I, I kind of like search for most of it. It isn't, didn't really come for any, with anything for World 20. Really? So the, all the maps that didn't come with the start, with the, uh, with your pre-built campaign? Well, the one, like the one that I have are not like player ready they are not meant to be given to the player i had to find a version of it that didn't have like a uh, cragma castle just written on it where <laughs> it should be or like uh yeah uh, same for fendelin the town i had to find one that didn't have like everything pointed out um so uh, it's not on... the same map as what you have yeah it's not Okay. Well, that's tricky. All the end out and stuff like that, and the token, uh, I just like go on the web and try to find stuff. All right. Um, can I? I'll make it an end out and give it to you guys uh, eventually. I'll do that after. So you don't have to uh, get it out each time I say, like, I get the map. Let's yeah. look at the map. Oh, wait, wait. That. Where are we? We're it's 20 not... minutes or later. Where are we? Look at the map. It's not that hard to put you guys on the map. Just the old, just saying. Old, old, old world is Far, yeah, the there. old whole whole well, yeah. Yeah. And Conniver is far as well. Okay. So, you got the map, you got a repair kit, you have a cart, uh, with a dwarf, an elf, and an halfling sitting in it. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Are you, are you guys just leaving? I don't know, we are ready? Uh, well, it's like if, if it's if it's all good for you guys, I would sleep in um, the inn for our last, last day. We can actually sleep in comfortable beds and head out first thing in the morning. Okay. The the travel is going to take us uh, how many days or how many hours? It depends what happens somewhere. on the road. Well, if we don't have not, any inconvenience. It's not the road, it, it's a trail. It's a trail, it's not even a road. Okay. Did With did we cart. get mountain ox or? <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> if it's a trail, <laughs> maybe, no, but maybe we, we just, came uh, we came here. It's it, it, it's a trail, but we came here and we were on a cart. So I yeah. think the trail so... is big enough for a cart. It's probably a single row, not a two lane way that's why it's a trail um um i would say you guys can get there in two days two days two full 
two full days of travel. So, do you have any, anything for them to eat? Uh, yeah, Tamara awesome. bought I some rations. Ration. But do we have anything well? to sleep outside? We don't Ooh, really we have, have anything to camp. Yeah, that's right. Let's buy it for so... Barton. We're still close to Barton, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Barton, do you have any outdoor encampment supplies? Let me look. Anything that comes close to like a royal tent? Royal? Royal? <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Um, I don't take much space. <laughs> so... I have two two person tents. That's the closest thing to like tents that I have in my inventory. So we need two. Is it any size two person tent or it's like two person Goliath tent or two person human tent or two person Are my Are feet large? gonna stick out the tent? Most likely, yes. Oh, damn it. But have you ever found a tent where your fit, feet weren't out of the tent? You're a big dude. Where I came from, we have tents for big dudes. Why well, you might want to sleep uh, diagonally. Mm. Maybe I'll sleep. You could I'll sleep on my one side. Tent for just you. I'll take two tents for myself. That's a very great idea. How much is one tent? <laughs> uh, one tent is two golds. Two gold? Yes. For one tent. I'm going to buy one. I'm buying one for myself as well. Well, I, I guess I'll take one too. <laughs> I'll buy two tents. <laughs> 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 Five tents for the whole group, right? Yeah. We, yes. we ask in the hotel, we ask for one room uh, in additional. So now we have one tent in additional. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have one tent for my feet. That's, <laughs> that's for now. Useful, I guess, if you. I don't want to get cold feet, else. so... Yeah. No, I... It's a good idea. I I completely agree with, with that. So, is there anything else we might need that I don't think of right now? Would I have uh, things for make fire? Um, uh... Rose? They're bed rolls. Bed rolls? We have bed rolls from adventuring gear. Do I have it? If you have some. If I you have want a bed box. I don't have a bed have roll. Bed I have adventuring gear, yep, but it doesn't include a bed roll. The adventuring yeah. gear provides a bed roll, yes. A bed roll consists of a bedding and la di la la. Have we? Are you sure you selected the adventuring gear? Yeah. Because in your equipment, all, you shouldn't have a bedroll. <laughs> hmm. And, and I'm going to buy two. Uh, I'm going to check uh, that out. Okay. Because I don't have a rope. How many is for the rope? Is um. Depends. You want a silk rope or a ampen ampen rope? Ampen. Uh, I I don't know. Normally, what we're using are hempen rope. Silk one. The silk okay. one is really soft. 
okay. depending on the use that you're making of it. It can matter. If you want to tie mm. someone up, but gently, you use right. a silk one. Right. I'm just going to use it if we need it. It's just... So, yeah. Uh, I want to the hemp. It's one gold piece for 50 feet. Okay. And I, I found the... Uh... No, wait. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Ooh. We're ready to travel. Uh, should we stop here? I think we sh it's a, it would be. A that's good that's what I was uh, implying yeah. since I was uh, saying uh, go to bed and uh, start next thing Just in the morning. Start travel, yeah. So for the rest of the so evening, right I'm going to be at the inn, enjoying my last good meal, a beer, then head to bed. All right. Same for me. Yep. So as you're all enjoying a last uh, day's rest, uh, like partying, having great warm meal and heading out to bed or it's end going to be the session. last sorry it's going to be the last uh, the last meal the Warm last meal. meal the last meal we're all here gonna die because we're going to die. i don't know where, where we're okay. going to right now okay <laughs> all right and yeah we're gonna nice. end it here today <laughs> 